what I've got is this, this is Pastor Canai again. Uh, we're coming up with another tutorial in Python. Um, yeah, according to YouTube, is telling me that the last video I posted was like two weeks ago, which is right. I was on vacation, I'm back and ready to continue doing our tutorial for non programmers. This is for people that has like it's trying to start, they has like no experience in programming, so this is going to help you out a little bit. So, as we have been already working the past. So we're going to uh, work today with word count, word count. Okay, how do we do that? So we're going to do the following. So we're going to give it a name, text, and then we're going to use a triple, uh, double quotes, but it's going to be triple right here, triple quotation, and then we're going to uh, a B, C, D, E. Uh, let's see if everything is working fine. Print. We're going to use, use text. And then we want to run the program. As you see in the console, and we receive A, B, C, D, E, which that's what we want. Now we want to put that on a list. We just use a split. Uh, parenthesis and then you run it and she give us a b c d e okay now we want to know like how many times this letter b c d e is being used on on a context in a paragraph and a page like whatever or the whole entire book like right so what we can do is just the following so we gotta create a, a new variable name word count uh, equals to uh, yeah word count uh, it's going to be an empty dictionary okay I want to use a for loop for this for we want to give the name of word and uh, text that the split that the split um, column and let's see if this works. Uh, print just the word and let's uh, print that and see what we got. So we got A, B, C, D, E. Okay, cool. Cool. It's not too bad. So, but now we want to know. Um, so we got to pass, you know, uh, in the dictionary, we need to have a key and also a value, right? So in this case, we're going to use word count, which is empty. We're going to use in passing the keyword, which we already have the, those values a, b, c, d, e equals to one. So which means all of this, they're going to have a value of one. If we just do word count right here. Should give us uh, that. Um, oh crap, that's because it's just right here. It came out a little bit different. I was just thinking, what's wrong with this? As this shouldn't be right there, it should be right here, and that should fix it. Okay, cool. That's what we want to get. I was like, what? What's going on? Um, all right. So we got A1, B1, C1, D1, A, E1. <clears throat> but now we want to know how many times right, we, we have A. So we only have one one time. So let's add one, two. And I don't know how many times I'm adding A. And I don't know how many times I'm adding E. we're going to find out okay that should be good in there right here too um, so we're going to use a if statement if word in um, word count 
semicolon uh, right here we want to do a word count word so we're going to add so let's see word count let's just copy this we're going to add one more time plus one <coughs> you know actually there's a better way to do this let's just add a plus right there and get rid of this okay we get that and then else column So what's going to happen with this? When we're passing through, I mean passing through the for loop, if a is going to pass the first time, if a is is not there, it will not add it. I mean, sorry, if a is there, it will add it, or a, b, c, d, or whatever, like, you know. If no, it will add it. So at the beginning, we got A, it will add in here, one time. It will go the second time, if there is another one, since it's already added on the um, dictionary, it's going to come again, it will add it the second time. And then it's going to come by, it's, it's still there, it's going to add a third time, a fourth time, and then we have all of this right here. It, uh, the ones that they are not adding too many times is going to be only one. Does that make sense? So hopefully it does. So let's print this. Okay. Right here. See A? It was there 20 times. Or has been used 20 times. B has been only used once. It didn't add anymore because it only has been there once. Same thing with C, only once. And D. But E has been added like 20 times. And that's what it did. So, and that's how you can just do whatever text. You know, you can put up a bunch of text, like, you know, with 1,000 words, 3,000 words, and then you run this program this code right here and will give you how many times is the letter or the word has been used in there depends what you want to find out hopefully hopefully this uh, tutorial liked it uh, please help the channel grow like and subscribe for more thanks okay have a good day bye bye